Play Date episode 19. Is it episode 19? I think so. Welcome to every single episode. You guys are like, hmm, what episode is that? Well, because because we forget. Yeah. yeah. Well, traditionally, we just want to make sure that we're right. I yeah, know. I don't want. If we got it wrong, are you kidding me? Our careers would be over. Yeah, that's what happened to um, uh, uh, Joe Rogan, Carrot Top. Oh, okay. that's yeah. He, <laughs> he got his he got his episode or, wrong one time. He lived near me when I uh, in Winter Park, and he would run through. Uh, downtown or not downtown, but like the main area in like women's running shorts and nothing else. And it was awesome. That's sick. Yeah, I wish more dudes did that in my neighborhood. I don't know where he. I, I guess Carrot Top is a lot more successful than I thought he was because I his house is insane. Yeah, I don't even know. I haven't heard that name in so long. I mean, what did have you ever watched a Carrot Top special? Nope. Have you ever seen him talk? Uh, no, nah, no. I like kind. He's just like a redhead comedian. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah. I got a funny, my friend just sent me a text. Why do you sound so nervous? I got a funny. I got a funny. No, my friend just texted me. He's like, about, or, do you remember the uh, the time that you, I, okay, I'll just tell the story. I just was, I don't know what is going on in my head right now. <laughs> uh, there's one time me and my buddy got in an Uber and my phone automatically connected to the bluetooth and i realized it was the same uber driver i'd had the previous weekend and i had asked for the bluetooth that's so funny so i just started playing music and the guy was like what how did you how did you, on? how did you do this my friends were that's how away. that's how your buddy figures out that you've secretly been hooking up with an uber driver yeah I, well we didn't hook up I, I, he just gave me a ride in like an uber like <laughs> yeah, normal yes yeah, sh- yeah sure dude it was like a normal uber Lauren, that's a fun shirt is that hunger games no. District 10 I know. pizza? pizza. Oh. <laughs> pizza. It looks like pizza. No. Um, what district no. was District it's 10? the playoffs. District 10 was like a throwaway. Yeah. They, like, they like... focused on like the one through five were like the rich kids and yeah. 12 was like. One was gold. What did they. What? Pr- what was their district? What did they produce? Oh, what was like their export? Yeah. I don't know. Sugar? Yeah, probably. Did you see the new Hunger Games? No, I want to, though. I would like to see that. Did you see it? No, I haven't. Okay. I'm going to go back and watch all the old ones first, though. I recently well, this watched... Well, it's a prequel. Oh, so I should, you should just forget that all the other ones No, you happened? should watch the old ones in reverse order. <laughs> yeah. what? No, watch them in reverse. <laughs> From the... In reverse order and in reverse. And in reverse, yeah. That'd be perfect. Did you ever... Uh, did you ever do the, like, thing with Pink Floyd where if you... If you start the album at a certain part of, I think it's a it's some children's movie, but you start it and apparently it lines up perfectly with the movie. No, like Wizard of Oz or something. Huh? What are you doing? Lauren's playing with the lights over there. I you know we're gonna get distracted. If no, I was just fixing. <laughs> fixing. Lauren, that's oh. like that's like when uh, you start playing with a spoon in front of a baby. Is that a thing? I don't know. They're they like shiny. They like shiny stuff. Like Lauren, Lauren was just doing a very quick thing and mm. we both had to stop we both like stopped talking and just look <laughs> fun facts when i was a baby i <laughs> gave my mom a black eye with a bop it i clocked her in the face wait with a bop, with a bop it a huge black eye I feel like bop it's weren't a thing when we were babies yeah actually i'm kind of with lauren on this one so then my parents lied to me well you did it you just did it when you were like 11 yeah no i was like two oh. i threw a candlestick like a granite candlestick holder and my sister one time and it knocked all her front teeth out. Oh my god! And I was the one that started crying, and so my mom gave me a popsicle. <laughs> my sister, uh, were you a black eye kid? Like every photo I have from when I'm a kid, I have a black eye because I was just hitting it on shit. I have this actually comical one that I'm gonna send you because you. I want to show this when I talk about it right now. Okay, yeah, put it right here. Put it right there. It was. It's me outside the White House, and I have the worst black eye you have ever <laughs> seen on a child. But it was like right before we went on a trip to Washington D.C. <laughs> And it was, I was playing soccer and I tripped and I fell right as this girl was kicking and I hit it on her leg. So then the whole story was I got kicked by a girl, which was pretty humiliating. <laughs> it's as pretty like on brand for you. Old. Yeah. It's like one of those conspiracy TikToks where they'll be, they show all the celebrities that have had black eyes and they have no, it, they're basically saying it's like a, because when they got inducted into like the Illuminati or whatever, but Uh-oh. it'll be like celebrities that have nothing to do to, with each other. It'll be like. H.W. Bush had one, and then five years later, W. Bush had one. You're like, oh, that that makes sense. And then it'll be like, 
and then Cher had one. <laughs> like, I don't know if they were together. All right, we have a very fun episode today. We're doing a new game today. We're gonna play. Will and I are gonna play the newlywed game. See how much we know about each other. We're gonna do some pitches. Mm-hmm. We're gonna do your guys' pitches. Then we're doing uh, senior superlatives as a draft and. Uh, reality television, reality shows. television shows. It's gonna be, it's gonna be epic. Let's let's just get right into their pitches because I feel like we have so much. So to we're doing the newlywed thing first. Oh, you want to start with that? Yeah. Uh, let's get the pitches out of the way. Pitchers. Let's get the business out of the way first. Pitches out of the out way. of the way. What not, do you mean out of the not way? out of the way? I mean, let's get done with the business stuff and then we move on to the fun stuff. Yeah, you're right. You're we right. have to we have to look out for our futures first, yeah. and then you're right. Once we've invested in sound companies. The way, for the record, I don't want you guys to pin that on me like I said. Sound I don't companies. like doing pitchers. I like pitching you guys and hearing pitchers more than anybody. But I just feel like we can't go fun, business, fun. It's got to be business, fun, fun, fun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Business, fun, fun, fun. Business, fun, 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 fun. was my, that was my senior quote. <laughs> what was your senior that quote? That was your major. Uh, my senior quote? Yeah. If you can't do what you imagine, then what is imagination to you? There we go. What was yours, Lauren? Kid Cudi quote. Um, mine was bitch. from Dazed and Confused. Of course it is. You yeah. look like a character in Dazed and Confused right now. Lauren is wearing sambas, some cool jeans, and a very 70s and t-shirt. A, and for our audio listeners, she also has a big green top hat. <laughs> <laughs> Which seemed I like wish. a weird... T- I'm honestly shocked she can get it over her headphones. Yeah, I don't know. what It looks weird. What was your quote, Lauren? Um, it was Matthew McConaughey's line... Uh, fuck. It was. That's what I, I love know. about these high school girls, man. They keep getting older. No, no, no. It was like the, <laughs> the older you do get, the more rules they're gonna try to get you to follow. Yep. You just gotta keep living, man. You showed them. You're yeah. you're a podcast producer now. Do you you, have, didn't you feel like anything. you're standing up to the man right now. Yeah. Being a podcast producer is probably the biggest middle finger to the to the, to man the establishment. Of all time. Yeah. Yeah. Besides being. Besides having a podcast. Yeah. Besides. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Hit us with them. What are these playmates? Peaches. Okay, cooking? so I'm being a little biased today. I wanted to pitch my one of my very dearest friends from high school. She sent this in a while ago, so you know I wasn't being too selective. But um, this, this is, is eviscerated. <laughs> what? No, it's actually a good one. So this is from Haley Colucci. Shout out one of my best Shout friends. Shout out from home. HC. Hot name. And she says, new pitch alert. Are you ever sitting in bed waiting on the morning debrief with your roommate? You're hungover, tired, bedhead, the sun's out, and the guy or girl you or, you or your roommate brought over last night just will not leave. <laughs> then I should introduce you to Goodbye Friend. It's an app that emits a certain noise slash frequency that automatically makes the person you want to leave trick themselves into thinking it's time to go. You just click the button and the silent sound sends out and the idea is planted into their head. Caveat. Wait, caveat? Caveat. Caveat. Oh, uh, shoot. I was like, no, I've, uh, I think I've heard. I think no, I've let's heard. Just start the episode over again. All right. Welcome back. <laughs> it's episode. Nine. I think I've heard caveat. Before. Okay. Now I haven't. Then I'm it's fine. Ca- I mean, well, it's, now ca- you it's have. caveat. Tomato, tomato. No, yeah. you have. It will trigger to anyone who doesn't reside in your apartment slash house. So use caution when having guests over and poof, they're out the door. Special special features can include the no goodbye Irish exit. If you hate those awkward morning small talks. Another special feature being that they get a call saying their apartment flooded and they must <laughs> leave immediately to save it. That's called the immediate evacuation. I like nice. that. I like the idea that like the, the default feature is just like a really like a dog whistle type thing. Like it makes yeah. it just like oh like we're treating we're treating one night stand people as like primitive creatures. Yeah. And it's just like I think um I think that's fantastic. I usually not that I'm doing this, but if I was sleeping over at someone's house, my move is out out before they like, like I'll say goodbye, but like out at like seven a.m. Yeah, because I also you're not like if you're getting a really good night's sleep at that person's house, like that's pretty rare. I'm usually I'm usually up, and also I really I also always have to fart, so yeah, I'll just be just... like I'll just be like I have to leave because I have to go fart. <laughs> not not out loud, but I'll be like I'm not gonna fart in this person's bed. I have to leave. Yeah, I think you always gotta err on the side of departure. Have you guys ever had one of those instances where there's like a girl over and she just like will not leave? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I remember I remember I in college. I can't really think of like a specific. Really? 
where they just were like, hey, they were like, well, like they become friends with your friends and then they like think that they're like, no, it feels like, I think, hanging I think out it's for just the like day. when most people see me when they wake up in the morning, <laughs> they, they, they roll over. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I had, I, remember, I think I've already told you this, but like, I, you, pooping is an inherently kind of like uncomfortable thing. So even when I was dating someone for very long, if I was like at their house and I had to go to the bathroom, I would just go home, like yeah. make up an excuse to go home. And then I remember my girlfriend at the time was staying at my house like much longer than I had anticipated her that day. This, even if you're dating someone, you wouldn't poop with them around? Um, I don't know. I just don't want them to like think about me like that. And, uh, and so I <laughs> made up some like really weird lie that like I had to go shower in Harper's shower. That's doesn't that this is bizarre to me. And so I like, went. This is up someone to, you're actively in a relationship. We were together for like three months. At Lauren, this, point. this is crazy, right? Oh, Lauren's tweeting. <laughs> what are you doing? La la la. No, I'm not tweeting. I was listening. So, I actually am good at multitasking. Okay, what's your thought on what Rusty said? Then? Um, I think that that's fine. Yeah. You, if the, you're the, someone you're currently dating, you would leave their house. I mean, you have if, to poop. If it's like a fresh relationship, I can understand. Two or three yeah. years, he said. No, no, no oh. two or three months. Oh, yeah. That would be crazy. Uh, no, I two or three months is still in the early. Phase. Yeah. Damn. I guess I just don't. The person that I have been I, seeing right now, her roommate was the one because they. I was staying at their house for like a weekend. Yeah. And I just didn't know what I was. I was like, I guess we. Just, I just have to wait until we go to like a bar or something. And her roommate. I like made a comment to her roommate when I was drunk, being like, "This is a nightmare," and she was like, "Just use my bathroom whenever you have to." So I would go upstairs and use her. Use this her isn't. Bathroom. This is. I'm a, damn. Are Wait. you? Are you just? Are you just pooping willy nilly? <laughs> if it was literally the first date, I think. If, <laughs> if, really? If I, if I really had to poop, like. I feel like you wouldn't like the nerves, maybe. Yeah, I think I totally would. I mean, I guess I don't think I drop like <laughs> nuclear rats. Like, I, don't, I don't think that it's gonna like be. T- Unless they're walking in right after me, I don't think they're going to notice. <laughs> Can I? Okay. Let Maybe me get, I'm incredible. Like, this makes me think I'm really not <laughs> self-aware and well, it's kind of stressing. No, me. it's good. You're I think just, you're just comfortable in your own skin. Yeah. It is. Once you get, once you break down the barrier, it's so freeing too. But yeah. dude, the first time I was at her house, her bathroom door also doesn't lock. Mm. So like, you know, when the door, I think I've already told you guys, but the door doesn't, the door would like swell because in it, like the, the thing wouldn't go into the hole. So the door, if someone put the oh. slightest amount of pressure on it, would just slide right open. Mm. And it's right off the kitchen. So it was just, it's just three other roommates. So I was just like, I can't risk that, See, this. that's like different. It's like if you're worried about like, oh, someone might walk in. Yeah. Nuclear yeah. rats is a crazy <laughs> word picture. That is. All right. I love that one. What was her name again? Something Tucci? Haley Colucci. Haley. Haley Colucci. Haley. All right, Haley. I'm investing. Colucci gang. Let's hear the second one. I like it. Okay, the next one is a classic debate. So he says, or wait, no, this is Paul. Paul Pappas. Hey, Paul. Paul Pappas. Pappas. That's a great name. Yeah, that Paul Pappas. Okay. So he says, no, I just know Pappas is. I know one too. Yeah. That one guy, like Jack's friend. Jack has a Pappas. There was a kid I went to high school with, maybe? He, I don't know. Right. Paul Pappas. <laughs> okay. Like, I don't know if you and your buddies have had the great Spotify versus Apple Music debate, but it's tearing my college house apart <laughs> when it comes to sharing music. Yeah. It's a little dramatic. Let it's me introduce really you debate, to but... Spapple, working title for copyright reasons, an app that will change how we share music forever. No more getting a playlist sent to you by your buddy who has Spotify and having to go to the website on your computer and manually type each of your songs to your phone on Apple Music. Ugh. Spapple is social media. <clears throat> Music sharing app that converts playlists from different platforms to whichever one you desire. Other aspects of the app contain a year-round music wrap that shows your friends what you've been jamming to. It also lets you talk shop with people you don't know with similar music tastes in order to expand your library. Spapple is the future of music. Yeah, I think this is yeah. actually like awesome. That's the that's one of the I think ten percent of the ones we get are legit. That would do so well. Uh-huh. That's one of them. Because I, I have an app on my phone that I use to like track my Spotify data. <laughs> Wait, you want Why do you care so much? I think it's like interesting to know like what your top artist like you can like look at your like lifetime data. Like I know the number one most listened to song. What is it? My entire life. Wait, let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. You're never gonna guess it. Is it a Frey song? Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> You've never even heard of the band or the song, so oh. I'm gonna save you some time. Okay, just tell us. It's it's the it actually Shout out to uh, Ray and Paul Holmberg. It's a song called Her Eyes by Ray and Paul Holmberg. 
uh, they're like a, they're just like these two guys. That, <laughs> I saw them at You're the... Really they were doing a hard sell on them. Cute. No, they're fantastic. They were at the Venice Music oh, Club like you, a couple months those ago. Those are the guys that you DM'd and you were like, hey, I'm going to be at the show or whatever. Yeah, and we like yeah. hung out before and they're like really nice. They're, they're two like college kids that are... Oh. I just like found their song in college. So you're their biggest fan? I... This, Did they know that you're... one specific song, yeah. Do they know that you're their... They, they, I told them that... Are I, you going to start their fan club? Yeah, they... Do those still exist? Fan clubs? Like, you know, there used to be fan clubs. Like way heavier than like I'm the I'm the president of the Paris Hilton fan fan club. Yeah, I mean, there's like I feel like it's like Instagram accounts. Now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right, uh, yeah. Pappas, that one's fantastic. But no, but the, well, I wanted to finish my thought was that <laughs> <laughs> there is an like the Spotify data is like publicly available, so you can totally do that. And then yeah. you just it's about the being able to compare with people on other apps. That's huge. And then sending the playlist, and there's like a. Some sort of integrated like feature where it automatically yeah. translates it, and so that would be. Huge. Isn't Chester an Apple Music guy? Because I remember uh, him. Someone was sending me song. We were on the same airplane. He was sending. Someone was sending me songs to listen to, and I would have to go type it in. Yeah, I could very much see him being an Apple Music. Guy. He has like title. I think. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Paul. Nice, Pappas. Um, Thanks, Pap. Our last one. This is also a music under the music category. So this is Jordan Harris. Oh, and he, his name is spelled Jordan with an O. Like at the end instead of an O. Oh, okay. I've never seen that. <laughs> That's no. like, yeah. <laughs> no, I've never seen that. Like Jordan. Jordan. Um, okay, so he says, the pitch submission is, what are you listening to? Have you ever seen someone wearing headphones and wondered what they're listening to? Well, look no further. We got you covered. Keep going. What but it was you? just like the opposite of SharePods. Oh, oh, yeah. right? oh, oh, oh. Like, what, are, <laughs> what, what you were hoping to solve with SharePods. Honestly, all three of these are kind of under the same. What are you listening to is a device that allows you to intercept the frequency emitted from other people's phones slash MP3 oh. players and see what other people are listening to when you find someone, or no, when you see someone wearing headphones. Find cool new music, <laughs> podcasts, and more. I think I think that you would learn a lot of stuff that you don't want to know. Like you, yeah. the amount of guys in public that are probably just listening to like porn. Wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, what? You think guys in public are listening to porn? You'd be shocked. Walking down the street? You'd be shocked. Not like no like 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 a like, uh, like a 50 shades of gray. Oh. You know. Something like that. Well, I it's also just funny because for all the OGs who know about SharePods, this is oh, yeah. this literally can't exist in the same universe as SharePods. Yeah, no. SharePods have a SharePods have a uh, like force field around them that protects that protects. It, it'll it'll yeah. just emit, still emit NPR. Got it. Got it. Um, I think that that's terrifying, and I wouldn't want someone to know what I'm listening. Because what if I'm listening to like. A self-help book and they're like that guy's what's wrong with that i don't know that'd be humiliating yeah to publicize that no girls know wanna, we need help no girls would want to kiss me on the lips anymore yeah if they knew that we had feelings that would be boring weird all right do you guys ever listen to audiobooks yeah uh Sometimes. yeah I listen. pretty cool that spotify just made them like i know but out there. yeah i think that there's still there's some that still cost money on spotify i don't know yeah a lot of yeah, yeah but I tried I to listen. I listened to this podcast about it was I guess it was a podcast, so that doesn't count. What was it? It's called Who Killed JFK. <laughs> oh, but it was just like a narrative. Who did kind it? Of thing, the CIA. Yeah, almost certainly. Isn't it like? Isn't it like a known thing too? Yeah, kind of. It, I think what I found really interesting about this particular podcast was they got into the background of like Lee Harvey Oswald, and I didn't know any of that. Like, there's like yeah. pretty reasonable evidence that he didn't even shoot the gun. He oh was, like, really? Completely framed. He's just a patsy. He yeah. He worked at that place and was seen four floors before where the shots went off. Oh, he worked at the book depository. Yeah, he was an employee. I didn't know and that. He had been, and when he was like a teenager, he was in the CIA program where they were like basically fostering kids to to look like communist sympathizers so that they could like weaponize them later, and they were like experimenting with like, LSD and shit and like yeah. Well, and then his whole story is insane. Jack Ruby killed him. Jack Ruby killed him, who was like very involved with the mob. Yeah, actually, there's a new episode of it. It's like comes out every Wednesday. So we I just, got, we I just start we, playing it. I on. think the next part is about Jack Ruby, so I gotta listen to it. All right, should we pitch each other? Um, yeah, let's do it. Thank you guys for the oh, submission. Oh, guys, new DM from Julia Mencher. <laughs> nice. For all of our listeners, this is one of our OG girls. Legend. Shout out Julia, we love you. 
She makes us a lot of art and is very talented. All right. You ready? You want to hear it? Yep. Jack's texting. What'd she say? Sure. Tell us what she said. Uh, we're just chatting. You're oh. chatting. <laughs> They're texting. Yeah. One second. We're in the middle of a podcast. One second. All right. All right. Sorry. I was just what? responding to Julia. All right. All right. <laughs> that was um, an insane move. Pitch me out. Well, I was just, I was, I, I, I opened the DM. So it was like, I didn't want her to see it and think that I was ignoring her. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. You know, you can mark it as unread. Really? Oh. Yeah, you just swipe over and hit I unread, and on, it goes back. I use it on texting all the time. That's yeah. Well, I don't have read. Well, isn't read that receipts. just that's just not having read receipts on? No, no, no. Like I'll open messages because I get weird about the little red uh, things, and then I realize that I didn't respond, and yep. I'll just uh, anyway. Yeah. Wait, how many texts do you guys have right now? I'm not, Zero I don't because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, doesn't matter. I have like a, a thousand. thousand. <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, mine's. It's so sad. It makes me feel bad about myself as a human. All right. Uh, Ready? Yep. Do, 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 do. This actually is kind of like the first pitch we heard. I've got the emergency alarm. Okay. This is uh, an alarm you set, and then it wakes you up with a phone call that when you answer it, it someone tells you like something really serious it just happened, and you're needed down at the station right away. <laughs> Uh, cause I feel like whenever that, ha- like needed down at the station is like, oh my God. Yeah. And, uh, then once you get up, you get another phone call and it's like, nope, just getting you out of bed today. But it's like, you never want to roll the dice on it. So it makes yeah, you you're get never out of bed sure. You're never, even if you know that you set up this alarm, yeah. it's so real sounding that you're, you're going to wake up. So what it makes station you- do you work at? The fire station? Yeah. Fire station, police station. They mix it up. To keep you on your toes keep a little bit. Do you get to but- choose who's voice it is it's always it's denzel always washington. biden <laughs> <laughs> or it's either biden or denzel washington i just i snooze my alarm too much so i need something yeah. that instills urgency right from the get-go so that's the emergency alarm and uh start the bidding war oh my god i'm getting rich holy shit okay um sorry my okay. so i'm gonna have to do these off memory because i didn't save to my phone so any oh what about your draft uh, I think I have the drafts, but I I typed I typed it. I oh fuck! All right, it's ready? fine. No, how no, no. Do, what do you mean? How do, so I typed it out onto a note on my laptop, and then I restarted my laptop, and I guess it didn't save in time. Got it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna clearly be making them up. No, no, no. horse right. doctor, horse doctor. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I got them. Um, my first one was my second one was one hundred one point share. Okay, it's a radio station that uh you can cue songs to and everyone on the freeway can tune into it so we can all like listen to each other's music and vibe with each other. This is the really cue, throwing me off, but I don't know. must be insane. <laughs> like how long it is. Maybe it's like just the, the five cars around you. Okay. Uh, it's like guy next to you. You're like, <laughs> give him a big thumbs up. All right. I love it. I've got the meter feeder. I hate that when you park in like a metered spot, It'll be like, you can only pay for up to two hours, and then you have to go back and like put more money in it. Yeah. And it's like, a, I get why they do it, but I think that they should invent a device that local governments might hate it, but you basically just take a little thing and you attach it. It has extra backup quarters in it, and you yeah. attach it right on the front of the meter, and then when the two hours are up, it just goes, ding, 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 and just keeps putting more quarters in it until you get back. I love it. So you can get like unlimited hours. Did we get something similar like that in the past? I don't think so. I'm wondering, what if someone sees you attach the little guy and comes and steals it? If they need, if they need uh, those quarters that bad, then they need them more than I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there, there's definitely some risk there. Maybe it's um really greasy. <laughs> <It's> really- <laughs> yeah. Or it's, like, oh, or it's oh. A horrible smell. No, there's a key. There's, it's a. It locks on with a padlock and only you have the key mm. and there's an app okay have you guys ever used that thing i don't know if this was trending in like middle school where you like lock Silly your band. phone in it no you could you buy this box and oh, you lock yeah. your phone in you it and set then, a timer so like it yeah. won't lock for like another hour oh i'm gonna keep it real with you guys i just the, i cannot remember my other two that's all right wait, wait let me just I, make them up pause it i'm gonna go grab my all right, I want to take a quick second to talk about Muggsy Jeans. Guys, they're incredibly comfortable. A couple of, couple of guys in 2015 decided to reinvent the jean game, and boy, did they do it. They're the stretchiest, comfiest jeans you've ever worn. They have over 18,000-plus five-star reviews 
from people of all shapes and sizes. And they're sick. They're they're genuinely sick. I do wear them several times a week. And they're like, it feels like I'm wearing sweatpants almost, but it's jeans. They they rock. I couldn't agree more. Guys, first-time customers can get 20% back on their first order right now. All you need to do is head to Muggsy.com and enter your email. And the discount code is automatically added to your cart. That's 20% back on the only jeans and pants you will ever wear again. Free shipping and returns on every single order, so the only risk is never knowing how great they truly are. Will, let's get back into the episode. Update. Nothing saved, but I remembered I remembered them. I'm hoping I can remember the drafts as well. You lost the drafts too? I have the drafts, but they're not organized. I had them separate, separate on an organized doc. Whatever. Okay. Um, I got balls back. It's like a fan thing on the ground. It creates kind of like this air vortex on the ground. So when you're playing ping pong or beer pong, when the ball falls off the table, it like funnels it back. Like it's like floating and it funnels it like back to the table. Got and it. Like grab it. So it's just like an, it's like a s- standard air vortex. And it's just pretty, kind of- yeah, pretty run of the mill air vortex. <laughs> um, it's, I mean, it's just like a light breeze. Like you wouldn't really feel it. Um, but like it does, it picks up on ping pong balls. Did you fart? No. Lauren? No. All right, I like balls. Maybe back. I pooped my pants because I... I was so nervous. <laughs> yeah. Also, how how strong do you think Lauren's farts are that she could have made it all yeah. the way over here? I don't know. Does I mean, it really it's a small like room. I got a whiff of something weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, now I'm self conscious. I poop my. Or it's like offended that I would suggest that. No, I'm just confused. Can we? Yeah. Yeah. All right. What's I'm your... sorry. I got a whiff of something. <laughs> what do you expect me to? All right. That would have been hysterical. No, I don't, <laughs> I don't smell anything. <laughs> okay. Do you still smell it? Whoever smelt it, Delta. No, no, <laughs> no. We're not playing that game. I would not call myself out for my own fart on our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Did what, somebody fart? What, did someone just like crap a little and you can smell it a ton? Okay, sorry. Uh, guy, guys, like, like everyone else would have just thought he farted, but he <laughs> yeah, hates himself for it. <laughs> okay. My last one is called Stream Share. Did you, I don't know if you guys saw, but the divisional playoff game in the NFL is. Uh, like one of the games on Saturday is streaming exclusively on Peacock. Yeah, people are freaking out. It's like it's you, the worst. you literally can't watch an, a playoff NFL game unless you have Peacock. So the idea is, as that becomes more of a thing, it's an app where, like, so you can basically list your house up for the neighborhood, <laughs> and it's like I have Peacock, and it's five bucks if you want to come watch it at my house. Yeah. So then you ho- and it, it, but it's like part of the deal is that if you go, you have to bring like a dip or something, nice. or like, like a, a buffalo like a six pack or like. You know what I mean? And so it's like a little party for the neighborhood. Yeah. And then that no, you don't have to get Peacock. You can just go to your buddy's house. I'm doing house. a water fast right now. And oh, yeah. What is, talk the, about that. The thought of the thought of buffalo chicken dip right now just made me want to fucking freak out. He's doing 24 hours with no water. Well, I'm, with nothing I'm, but water. I'm oh. starting I'm starting with 24, and I'm going to see how I feel tonight. And then think about going for 48. To Wait. be fair, and I don't mean this as this, but... The ten you started at ten p.m. last night, which is just like when you would end eating. No, no, I st- I stopped at I stopped at eight p.m. last night. Okay, so like so like just it, not eating no, no, breakfast or lunch. No, no, if I if I didn't <laughs> if I didn't make this declaration, most days I would not have eaten by now. Yeah, and I the only reason that I'm noticing it is because I'm telling myself that I can't. Yeah. Wait, so can I ask why? Like, what is what are the benefits of um, this? I don't know, it's a willpower thing. Uh, so I don't know what the name of this one is, but, uh, it's basically, you're ever listening to a game and you're like, this is a sick game, but the, the commentator is just not the guy that I like Yeah. at every game. There's just the most eclectic group of com commentators all the way from, you know, your standard, like Chris Collinsworth. There's like fun guys like Snoop Dogg in there. And then there's, mm-hmm. you can go all the way to someone who has literally never watched the sport. Like I it's, like that. it's that big of a spectrum. And you can, I would listen to the one, like the second, the guy who's barely knowledgeable about the yeah. sports, like, what the, f- what the fuck just happened? Yeah. Um, Imagine like a fake, watching a fake punt, dude, that guy'd be out. That guy would lose his fucking marbles. <laughs> I like that idea. And you can just curate it. Yep. I like that. All right. Should we do the newlywed game? Dun, 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 dun. Lauren, do you want to explain to the people 
what's happening right now? I don't really know how to explain what's happening. All right, she's going to ask a question and about the... We're each going to write what we think the other person's answer would be. Yep. And then we'll reveal how well we each did. So I'm writing down wh- how I think Will would answer the question. Will's answering, writing down how he thinks I would answer the question. We only had one normal size whiteboard, so Will is using a wall <laughs> whiteboard. Comically large yeah. whiteboard that I stole from our coworker's desk. Okay. All right. I'm a little nervous about my question. No, yes. they're gonna be. If great. they stink, we're gonna be really pissed, and all the <laughs> listeners are gonna hate it. Okay. Also, we have to we have to be very like we got we got to remember that people are listening. Okay. Okay. Audio. Yeah. All right. All right, you guys. Question number one is: What is Will's favorite sport? No, it's what is. It's for both. We're both gonna answer. What's their favorite sport? Yeah, you can both answer. Yeah, but you said what's Will's? Favorite Obviously, sport? I know my favorite sport. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was like the other person has this to is get it right. Exactly. We. T- <laughs> Okay. We talked about this for like 30 minutes before. Yeah, the, I actually like Lauren, so let's do... No, because no, then, there, no, 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 then we get we'll, different no, no, questions. Will, we'll do you first, and then we'll do me. It's the same questions. What, no, we do it at the same time. This is... So then whose favorite sport? We would, each put each other. <laughs> we put what the other per, We put what the other person... We, this is how it works. I don't know why this is so confusing. I, I, am, I am really like set on the fact that I think it is better if we do it one at a time. Okay. I, I guess Actually, I don't, I don't care it. enough. But All right, fuck it, fuck it. So we write down what it... We so might as well both do it. Yeah, yeah. So then we don't get different okay. questions. So what are... You're also assuming that we couldn't just use the same questions again. You're very hung well, up on that. We Okay, yeah, I mean, I guess. We can use the same questions, Sorry, right? but then guys, it's like twice as amount of time. We're just arguing and figuring this out the insane. logistics. All right, let's just both put... Okay. What's so I'm right now what I think Will's favorite sport what, is he's right usually how the newlywed game is like what is your partner's favorite sport? Sorry, I've never I want to throw newlywed. both of you through a window. <laughs> I don't want you to do that. I want to throw would hurt you uh, a ton. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. What's what's Will's favorite sport? And then and then I'll say what it is and then you'll reveal what you put and then you say what it is and I'll reveal what Are I Are we doing to play or to watch? I she left it open ended so general. I'm just kind of I'm going with in general as well. Oh, fuck. Which makes it hard, but I like my version of the game better. It's I don't even get I don't, don't okay. even get me started. Do you have this. yours? Do you have what what mine is? Wait, I don't even know what mine is. Okay, I have it. All right, you want to say what yours is? <laughs> for I so I, my favorite sport is golf. Bang Go. golf. One point for Willie D. And your favorite sport is football. And I wrote football. Let's nice. go! All right, hey, all right, all right, all right. Fantastic. I'm gonna be Cooking. keeping track on my phone of points. Okay, some of these are like not. No, this is great. Whatever. Okay, number two. What are your guys' drinks of choice? Ooh. All right. Like, if we're at a bar, what am I ordering? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. It's also very vague. What is Will ordering in the bar? Do do. We can also, we can also, we'll trim, for the audio listeners, we'll trim this part down, right? Okay. Um, maybe. I think it's fun to be mm. real while they're doing this that. This is tough. You this guys... is really tough. I'm trying to think what you drank on Saturday. All right, I need to like set a timer. You've t- okay, okay. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Wait, wait, wait. I got to think of what mine is. I got to think of what mine is before you guess. All right. Um, I'm ready. Okay, like this is fucked because because like Will, I don't think Will would know this because it changes all the time. But my favorite right now would be Moscow Mule. Bang! Let's go, Bang! Oh, Moscow wait. Mule. And you would wow. be Bud Heavy. I put beer. Does that count? Oh, um, half point. Half point. Sure, dude. Let's go, Will. You know me like a fucking back here. Well, I, I saw you at the bar on Friday. You were drinking one, <laughs> and you asked me to order you one. And then you know what you did? You asked me to order, order you one, and I couldn't get the bartender's attention. And then I think you already had like half of one that you had forgotten about. And you just lean over. You go, "Oh, did you get me this?" And I just went, "Yep." And you're like, "Thanks, dude." <laughs> okay, it's just someone else's. It drink. might have been someone else's. Honestly, I'll own up to that. That's fun. Okay, this next thing is is not. I don't know how to phrase is this because i was yeah doing it differently i want you guys to like describe each other in one word like how would you how would i describe how, myself yeah yeah yeah. it's like so, Ooh, that's tough no how would i describe him in one word and he would describe no, but how would we guess it oh oh yeah, yeah, yeah how so, you would describe yourself in yeah. one word um 10 seconds 10 9 8 7 6 okay ready Okay, how, uh, what did you, uh, what did you, um, 
So, the, so Will's guessing what I would write about myself. Yeah, what would you, how would you describe yourself yeah. one word? You say, you tell me. Well, oh, 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 yeah. wait, no, sorry, I did it wrong. <laughs> you write what I think I would say I, to myself. Yeah, um. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is, is mind-boggling. Like, <laughs> All right, I got, I got it, I got it. Um, what I would say about myself, spooky. Oh, I put curious. Yeah, that's good. Oh. I put, what would you say? Um, I think I would say joyful. I wrote lovable, so that's close. Oh. Okay, yeah. Nice. All right, so no points. No but, points. But, but fun. That's a tough one. That would have been yeah, insane. That would have been crazy. <laughs> okay, the next question is, if you guys were to commit murder, where would you hide the body? Hmm. And it can be, like, vague. It doesn't have to be specific. To Outside. <laughs> Okay. Um, right. One second. Wait. So hopefully our answers are the same answer on this one, right? Because this is because this is like where we would hide it, right? No. Together. Oh, together. No, just separately. Oh, this fuck. is a Individual. solo. So this is where Will would hide it. This is a solo okay. crime, and you Will would know. hide it. Uh, on that topic, if if you guys committed murder, would you tell each other? Yes. I don't. I wouldn't. <laughs> this is, that right. is an insane Ready? hypothetical. Will, oh, where, Will, where would you hide yours? <laughs> I would hide mine in the ocean. I put the woods. The ocean is good. <laughs> Where would you hide yours? I was gonna say the woods as well. I put the dump. <laughs> <laughs> I like how yours yours is like the smart. Like you were like, I'll hide mine in the smart place, and then <laughs> yeah. for me, you're like, he'll put his in the place that is definitely gonna get found. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys keeping track of your points? You said you were. Um, Whatever. It's semantic. It, it this is matter. this is just the for fun. Yeah. Day. Yeah. No, I know. But after the first one, you said, "Okay, I'm keeping track." Yeah. Of I your know, points. but I asked, and then you asked us because we... I wasn't anymore. <laughs> okay. I forgot. It. Okay. The next one is your guys' spirit animals. Like, what is your what is Will's spirit or what animal? animal do you represent? Kind of. Okay. Hmm. These are like not newlywed. What were you? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> um. These are. <laughs> I will say one thing. Not that this is fun. Started off so they're easy. all very subjective. Like they're like I've, I. Yeah, I thought it was yeah. gonna be more like like, like knowing what's, trivia. What's, yeah, what's about Will's, people. what's Will's middle name? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's boring. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I think this is probably no one cares. Yeah, no. You're right. You're right. You're right. People want to know where you would hide a body. Yeah, that's you're true. right. You're right. That's true. You're right. People do. People ask me that all the time. Right. They go, "Where will hide it? Spirit animal. Don't where did Will hide it? Um, it's a million. I'm gonna go. Oh, I have to think about what mine is now. This is a hard listen, I think, for the audio people. Yeah, sorry about this, guys. <laughs> Love you guys. You can just fast forward a few minutes. Yeah, we'll want. put the we'll put the time that I the draft. This in. is fun. Oh. All right, uh, Will, what's your spirit animal? I think I spelled this wrong. One second. Uh, my spirit animal. I was gonna go armadillo. I put squirrel. Fuck. <laughs> uh, mine's a dog. I also put squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Armadillo, that's, that's kind of fucked yeah. up for me to even say. I just like those things. Okay. More simple. What is your favorite color? Mm. Mm. Will's favorite color is... What's your favorite color? My favorite color is orange. I put green. What's your favorite color? Green. Fuck, I put blue. Ah. Mm. Your, your eyes. You're Why'd you make your eyes that color? You're an then? orange guy? <laughs> yeah. All right. What's the next one, Laura? Okay, biggest fear. Ooh. I guess that's subjective. I don't know. No, it's not. I think I know what Will's favorite, biggest fear is. Hmm. Wait, can we just, Will, can we confine this to things that are like, like, real things? Not like super, like, metaphor, not like, no. Uh, like, um, like, 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 I, I, Fuck it. I'll just I'll I'll put I'll put, I'll put <laughs> yours. I don't think you're gonna say this though. Okay. What's your biggest fear? Letting people down. I put failures. So that's kind. That's kind of. That's kind of oh, close. Wow. What's yours? Uh, I would say probably like heights. I put scaring the hose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So dumb. Why'd you go funny? I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Next, where would you hide from the police? <laughs> These are like. <laughs> I told you I was confused. <laughs> no, I like these. I like these. All right, where would you hide, Will? Uh, South America. I put mom's house. Okay. Mm. Uh, wait, I haven't... Right. South America. <laughs> where would you hide? Um, I would hide... 
in the woods. Fuck, I've been dumpster. <laughs> That's the second round that it's you said in the woods and it's been dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last question is favorite video. Wait, do you guys play video games? Yeah, kinda. Sometimes. Okay, well, favorite video game. Can we just say is like any computer game? Sure. Will's favorite. Will's favorite video game. What do we even call this segment? Question. The newly pod game. The last time we do this. Question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Question time. <laughs> No, we should just bring random people in and do it with us. Okay. What's your favorite video game, Will? Lego Star Wars. Fuck, I put FIFA. I knew that that was your favorite thing. What's your favorite video game? Dreidel. Dreidel? Dreidel. That doesn't count? It's not a video game. Okay, uh, <laughs> NHL. Yeah, I put Lego Harry Potter. Ooh, I've never even played that. <laughs> you <laughs> would love you, it. Yeah, that sounds awesome. No, I was predicting. <laughs> Well. All right, <laughs> that was that was definitely something. I feel like you got. I think that was no, fun. that was fun. It was fun. I just yeah, yep. Sure. I think that was a good way for the people to get to know you guys better. So for new listeners, they just learned a lot. I agree. We learn. We learn. We learn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Will, yeah. What are some of your favorite reality TV shows? Oh God, there's so many that I love, but. I really love Patient Zero, okay. that one where they gather all those people in a house and one of them has a really highly transmittable infectious disease mm -hmm. and they all slowly start to get it over the course of their time in the house and they have to try to identify who had it first and who spread it to everyone else. Yeah, that was fun. It did get canceled after one season though. Yeah, well half the cast died. Yeah, I like the wizard experiment mm. um, when they uh, recruited all those kids to the wizarding school and they like using special effects convinced these kids that they could actually use magic yep. and then tried to turn half of them bad and they saw whether or not they could um that these kids would use their wizarding powers for good or for bad yeah that was a really fun one yeah it was fun i i really liked the reverse bachelor <laughs> where they started out with 20 couples and it was just uh they did things to pit them against each other and they saw who would survive the longest yes um I like Kingdom. I fucked it. I just like because I don't have these written down, I don't remember the names, but okay. uh, I like uh I like the Kingdom. Mm. It's basically they take people from all different walks of life and they make uh, they put them in a like a medieval kingdom mm -hmm. and they assign them roles so all the poor people are now like kings, queens and nobles and all the poor people are like serfs and peasants and stuff. And they see how they adjust. Wait, you said the poor people were, the rich people are serfs? Sorry, the rich people are serfs, peasants, whatever. And uh, they see how they adjust to life in the kingdom. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah. I really like, have you ever seen the TSA Olympics <laughs> where they get 10 TSA agents and they send hundreds of people through security and four of them are terrorists? Oh, God. And they have to identify the terrorists before they uh, bomb the airport. Airport. <laughs> <laughs> Um. <laughs> oh, I got uh, I got Chastity Island. They basically take uh, ten sexy nymphos and they put them in chastity belts, <laughs> and then they hide they hide the keys to all their chastity belts along the island. But each each lock is unique. So even if you find a key, it's not maybe not to the person that you, they want to sleep with or their own belt. So it's a lot of strategy trying to trade keys and Got it. get favors out of people. T hearing you say 10 sexy nymphos, <laughs> nymphos kind of made my, my, my stomach gurgle a little bit, my skin crawl. Uh, bootstraps, have you seen that one? Where they take 20 people and they strip them of all material possessions and money and they send them out in the streets and they have a year and whoever attains the highest net worth by the end of the year wins. Nice. Yeah. Um, I like Smartest Man Alive. It's like a Truman Show situation where they take a baby at the beginning and their whole li his whole life they tell him that he's the smartest man alive and they see if they can placebo affect him into actually being the smartest man alive by, you know, positive affirmations and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that one. That was good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Undercover Baby. <laughs> Ten real people. One. Ten adults, but one is an undercover baby in a full-size man suit. Yes. And you have three weeks to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, got, I got Lone Survivor. Mm. It's uh, Jeff Probst still hosts, but this time it's Survivor, and it takes place in um, like Taliban-controlled <laughs> Afghanistan, and they're like a huge 
<laughs> hindrance to all the challenges because there's like a war going on. Around. Yes, I remember that one. Yeah, that was an epic <laughs> one. That's all. Like that was five, I think. Yeah, so I mean, all yours. Uh, y- none of them had you know explanations, which is a huge. B- okay. I for the record, I had other ones that were so good, and I can't remember where they were. We are still proud of you. Sometimes things <laughs> happen, and the people just love you guys anyway. Thanks, Lauren. The playmates of unconditional love. Thanks, Gorm. For you, guys. dude. I'm so frustrated. This was like the. This was like one of the some of the better drafts that I had, and I just, they just are gone. You know, there's a uh, what's that quote? There's only so many ways to build a castle. Eventually, the bricks will fall. Or um, if you love something, set it free. And if it was meant for you, it'll come back. Mm-hmm. So they will make their way back if it was true love. Give me a second. I, I need to find my pitches now. My friends are in the studio. <laughs> and they're waiting for the clock countdown. My friends are in the bathroom. And I'm getting higher than the Empire State. <laughs> my lover, she's <laughs> waiting for me. Just across the bar. All oh, right, okay. I think I might have just on the fly salvaged this. Cooked yeah. for superlatives? Yeah. All right, now we're going to draw... Wait. Actually, question for you, Jay. Yep. Shh. Bleep. <laughs> question for you, Rusty. Yep. What are... Did you, like, in your high school, did you do, like, senior superlatives yeah. in the yearbook? Do you yeah. remember, like, some of the, some of the like, unique ones your high school had? Yeah, I remember we did most poops taken at school. Mm. So uh, there was a big whiteboard in the boys' and girls' bathroom, and after each poop, you would mark a tally next to your name, and at the end of senior year, whoever had taken the most poops got the senior superlative. Didn't you ever worry about people lying? Mm, all the time. You ever do group poops in high school? No. We just in our like boys group chat, like we'd all be in different classes and someone just would send like in all caps, like group poop, group poop, and we'd all leave our classes and just go. I went home to poop at school. Like my senior year, my senior year, they like, yeah, they were like. like he, had, he had such a bad reputation for clogging the toilet. No, no, no. Like, it was you like. You need to go home. <laughs> rusty it was fuck, like, what am I doing? There weren't, um, like ours, our school bathrooms, like you could like see people's feet like under the stalls. So like if you were pooping. Yeah. If you're like pooping at school, like everyone in the room was aware that there was someone pooping. I didn't want to be that guy, so I'd go home. How you could just leave? I would just like be like, I'm going home sick. What? I feel like That's I pooped crazy. at school every day. Really? Yeah. I just like poop in the morning and then like just not eat anything like crazy. We have like into- like I wildly different relationships with. Yeah, this is very on brand with the conversation earlier. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I wasn't eating like curry at lunch. I could make it. <laughs> I could make it until two thirty. <laughs> I guess I wasn't worried about holding. It was like a nice way to get out of class for a little. Yep. All right. Anyway, uh, in my school, we did most likely to get jumped. <laughs> <laughs> kind of speaks for itself. Yeah, um, we did biggest teacher's pet, but it wasn't like the <laughs> student that. <laughs> It wasn't like the student that <laughs> that was the biggest suck up. It was like each each year at the end of the year they would weigh all the teachers' pet and Uh-oh. teachers' pets and whoever's. I thought it was the biggest, the fattest, teachers. the fattest teachers. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's like the pet of the biggest teacher. No, this is the biggest pet of a teacher. Got so it, like, got so it. like, like one year it was like a giant Bernese Mountain Dog. <laughs> oh. Next year it was Mrs. Davies <laughs> lizard. <laughs> all right. Uh, I have most l- in my high school. We had most likely to fall victim to an online fishing scandal. Yep, it was hyper specific, but there was just this one kid that just kind of had that look in his eyes. You know, yeah, you know when you know. Yeah, we did. Uh, that's fun, but we did the tallest sister award. Oh, so uh, the student with <laughs> <laughs> it's just like it's just like a... <laughs> it's just like the tall. <laughs> I can't even. No, I, can't I, can't even, even <laughs> I can't even say what I'm thinking, but I, was, I really hope it's so, not. No, what I, I'm thinking. I, I have a clarification because I knew you were gonna think that it's the student with the tallest sister. Okay. So like, <laughs> so like, if your sister's like six four, you're pretty much a shoe in. <laughs> that would be crazy if it was like the tallest, the tallest sister or what? Okay. All right, I've got. <laughs> We had the we had the most likely to fall victim to an online fishing scandal. Yeah. Then we also had the most likely to fall victim to a trout fishing scandal. Because <laughs> freshman year, that one guy got in real big trouble for when he clubbed that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, like Josh, yeah, Josh like the block or whatever. T-shirt yeah, t-shirts get he stomped on a trout. Yeah. So that kid got it every year, and then they got rid of it after he graduated. One of my favorite was most likely to be dating Mrs. Kinsley. Mm. So each year's senior English teacher, Mrs. Kinsley, would secretly start dating a senior, and they would keep it a secret, and at the end of the year, we'd all vote on who we thought it was. Got it. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah, it was my buddy Ryan one year. Really? Yep. Wow, is he okay? <laughs> He was 18. So. Dude, have you seen the movie May, December? Oh, I was I just watched say. it. No. Super weird. What is it? But it's it? based on a true story. It's about this this lady who's a teacher and like started like got caught like hooking up with like a 13-year-old, went to jail for rape for 7 years and got out and then they got married. <gasps> like wow. stayed in contact with the kid and oh. they had like multiple kids together and were married for 35 years. I saw that one movie where the I don't know if I don't remember what it's called, but she is his English teacher. And he's like a senior. Hulu. It's a Hulu show. Yeah. A teacher. And mm. they, sh- yeah, it's really strange. With- I watched, do you ever like scroll through? It'll be like part 147. Like you could watch. Oh, on TikTok? You could watch yeah. a whole show. Like I'd basically seen yeah. the whole thing. Yep. Um, uh, wait, I think I'm up. Yeah. I've got least sure he went here. <laughs> <laughs> like, you ever have like, a kid walking around the stage at graduation? You're like, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. So it's for that kid. Um, oh, I thought you meant he is the least sure that he. Went there. <laughs> I mean, that, if that was the case with a person that yeah. shoe in, there was, was more implying <laughs> that we were unsure, like a guy you didn't recognize. I remember at uh, graduation for college, I went to a really small school and like thought was sure that I knew everyone, but it mm-hmm. turns out like I only knew people that went out. You know what I mean? Because like, right. or like people that were in my classes, I. As people were walking, I maybe knew 10% of them, which in hindsight makes perfect sense. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, I had this a similar experience. Okay, so this one's pretty niche. Um, maybe you guys did the same thing. Did you guys have like checkered tiles in your hallways or like a weird pattern with different color tiles? No, but I, I feel you. We would like only step on the dark ones. You know what I mean? Like you'd like walk through the hall and like trying to follow the, whatever. It. So we had we have the least light tiles stepped on <laughs> and um it's just the student who stayed on the dark tiles the most dude i feel like if i had tiles like that and that was the thing i would have won that i get like ocd like that like, there was there was one hallway where it would go it would go out in a line and it would come back mm. and i would walk in zigzags like <laughs> and like people with like it you probably looked like you were insane <laughs> That's funny. I had a worst case of the grumpies. <laughs> it was usually a kid who like had like a family tragedy that year or something. Oh. It was pretty <laughs> fucked up, honestly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I think those are all of mine. I actually w- I won hairiest boy in school. That checks out. Yeah, you are hairy. I am hairy as f- shit. We are opposites in that sense. Yeah, there are, you are uh, you have the you have the body of like an Asian man. <laughs> Like no arm or leg hair. I have hair. I have hair from coming from, out of his eyes. From here, <laughs> hair from here to the tips of my toes. Yeah, <laughs> we're just different, but that's okay. Difference good. We difference good. That's right? why well, you're buddies. That's why we're buddies. This has been, I mean, one of the strangest episodes I've ever been a part of, and that's that's really mostly on me. No, I've just been scatterbrained ever since I opened my notes app and everything that I had written down. Yeah, that would induce a lot of panic that I haven't had to feel. Everything that every time you were talking, I was racking my brain to try and remember this one thing. I could tell you weren't being very attentive. I know. I'm sorry because there was a yeah. That's fine. We'll talk about it later. Yeah, we're gonna have to have a meeting. What should I break my fast yeah. with? I should have some sick dinner at eight tonight. Horse. Have you ever had horse? Oh, what? Like uh, do people actually eat that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In other countries, not here. Yeah. No, no, no but they have it. Yeah. Well, okay. I think it's a le- It's one hundred percent illegal here. I'm they have sure. it at Air One. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had moose? No. Can you eat that? That yes. feels illegal. No, moose is good. Really? Yeah, moose burgers. Moose Ooh. burgers. I had moose burgers one time. It was awesome. Do you like Thai food? Yeah. There's a, good, there's a good Thai spot over in Westwood near you. I want to get pho tonight. Pho. I want to get pho. <laughs> I want to get. I'm going to get like a, a hot soup or something. I have a bit of a sore throat. How many listeners do you think this will be their last episode? What do you, I think, <laughs> I think you're <laughs> too worried. You're just messing around, guys. This is um, a great episode. Has it actually, has it been fun for you guys? Yeah, I, th- I agree that it was a little bit scattered, but that's okay. I feel like we make up for these episodes with our, with our absolute A plus amazing, no, 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 perfect. Hold awesome. up, hold up, hold up. I don't think this was a bad episode. No, it wasn't at all. bad. I don't think there's such thing as bad episodes. 
I think there's just episodes. That I like that. That's like the. They're just different. There is no good or bad. Yeah. There, it, there only is. I think we had like there was. Some, I remember there was something Lauren said earlier that was like epic, and I think you had like a legendary line. <laughs> Yeah. Earlier. I quoted Master Ugwe just now, so yeah, that was well, pretty sick. What is that from? I've heard that. Kung Fu Panda. Oh, yeah. There is no good or bad. There only is. That's definitely not right. What man. movie should I watch tonight? I want to watch something really good. Can I give you a rec? Yeah. Almost Famous. Okay. You get to see Kate Hudson's boobs. All right. That's pretty tight. I'm going to need the link. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, uh, pr- uh, disclaimer, though. Granted, I don't think... We should probably take this out. Lauren, you can, we can fact check this after. She's playing a she's playing a teenager. Jesus. Uh, so Christ. I don't know if she's actually Jesus act- Christ. <laughs> and you made me say that. I didn't know that. I would have you seen the holdovers? Nope. It's really good. Okay. It's the it's the it's the prequel to the hangovers. Yeah, so, yeah, no. Have you seen it? The holdovers? Yeah. No. It's like a new Christmas movie that came out here this year with Paul Giamatti. You can't I, do new Christmas movies. It's, it's gotta be old. Movie. It's gotta be old. No, but it's really good. No, I wasn't saying because it's not inclusive. I was saying just like the inclusive. I thought you were like it's a holiday movie. Being like, I, I thought you were. No, no, I thought you meant because Christmas had passed. No, 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 no. you can't. There, there are no more Christmas movies allowed. No, I think this one's going to stand the test of time. He just won the Golden Globe for Best Actor last night for it. Hmm. Do you see the Golden Globes? Do you see that? I walked in Selena? on my roommates watching them. Selena. Yeah. Did you see what she? Selena. Her whispering to Taylor Swift. Yeah. What was it about? It was, it was so she, she asked, asked someone to take a Timothy photo. Timothy Chalamet for a picture, and Kylie Jenner said no. I love them together. I think they're cuties. Wait, his girlfriend said, or like, yeah. not? I don't mean to call her. Like, I just mean like, yes. your girlfriend can deny someone else a photo. That's she weird. did. That's weird. Okay. Well, anyway. What? Anyway, what? We're well, I was just gonna. Shit. Lauren's tired. No, I'm not tired. I just wanted to, before we wrap up, I wanted to remind them that we did have another episode come out on Monday. So oh, yeah. yeah. We had two out. episodes this week. Oh. Gnarly. Nice. Mm. Gnarly AF. All right. We love you. We'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You have been the one. You have been, been the one, one for me. me.